Let's hurry. Uh huh. The world coming to. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human... Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force, crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, to forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology.
Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> mm. And take this, too. Protect it with your life. It's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security, Think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pain. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet. But he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey. You awake? you. Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still. When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. You okay?
it never gets easier. Yeah, I could tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Whoa. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. <sighs> well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me.
I won't give up either. Trust me. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. This place here. Hey, don't forget. Okay, then. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Finally, can hardly feel my legs. 